it's Halloween. Who really cares about anything else? I'm Zach Arnold. And I'm Kylie Horsley, the pirate. I certainly don't. Where does Halloween originate? Why do we get dressed up and wander around in the streets? We'll have details. Your CSN News starts now. The origin of Halloween lies in the traditions of the Celtic people. They were located in what is now the United Kingdom, much of Western Europe, and an isolated enclave in what is now Turkey. They held a major celebration near the end of every month of uh, every year on October, which they called Soween, a festival to recognize the end of summer. The Celtics believed that the veil between this world and the next was the thinnest at this time of year. Friends and relatives who had died would often return with their souls inhabiting an animal, often a black cat. Black cats remain a symbol of Halloween down to the present time. In celebration of the harvest, Celts gave food offerings to the gods and often going door to door to ask for donations. Young Celts would often ask for wood and kindling for bonfires. Samhain was also a fire festival and bonfires were set on the tops of hills to honor the gods. Villagers would go to the bonfire, collect an ember, and use it to relight the fires in their homes. The ember was carried in a gourd. See where this is going? And to stay safe from evil spirits, they dressed up in a disguise. Going door to door and wearing costumes is probably directly related to this practice. The term jack-o'-lantern comes from an Irish folktale of the 18th century. Jack, an Irishman, tricked the devil into climbing an apple tree. He then cut a cross into the tree trunk, trapping the devil in the branches. When Jack died, he wasn't allowed into heaven because he was too mean. The devil, angry about having been stuck in a tree, wouldn't let Jack into hell. Jack was forced to walk the earth endlessly. The devil took pity on Jack and gave him a piece of coal to light his path. Jack put it inside of a hollowed out turnip that he had been eating. Over the years, the turnip turned into a pumpkin, possibly because it was much easier to carve. We'll be right back. Do you need help with college research, college applications, college choices, college pricing, scholarships, job applications, community service, studying for the SAT or ACT, or even military? If any of these interest you, then come down to the Career Center located in the main hallway in room B107. They will even help you with choosing or applying to out-of-state colleges. This program is open to all students from grades 9 to 12. Come down to the Career Center and get a plan for your future. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Halloween means candy and candy means cavities. Stop by Dr. Keller and see if you've got more holes in your head. Today's high is 67 with a low of 48. No cloudy, no rain. Tomorrow's high, 53, low of 41. Girls basketball players, tryouts are next week. They will be right after school from 3 to 5.30 and continue through Wednesday. Make sure you have your paperwork in today. See Coach Han if you have any questions. Do you need community service hours to add to your resume? Break Up Nampa is a great volunteer activity that lets you have Let's you and your friends have fun while serving people in our community. You need a team of at least 10 people and you must sub submit an application by November 3rd. See Mrs. Kimball in the Career Center for the team application. Attention students and staff, Veterans Day is coming soon and Columbia AUSB will continue to honor those who have served by hosting the 7th Annual Veterans Day Luncheon. This year's event will take place Wednesday, November 12th in the library and will run from 11 to 12.30. As always, our Olive Garden will be catering and will also feature an array of great desserts. Sign up, for the Sign up for this tribute to those in uniform in the main office today. National Novel Writing Month is a fun, seat of your pants approach to creative writing. On November 1st, participants will begin working towards the goal of writing a 50,000 word novel by 11.59 p.m. on November 30th. Creative Writing Club will sponsor weekly write-ins each Thursday in November, 2.45 to 3.15. Prizes will be awarded to participants as they make progress towards their word count goal, and we will have a party in December to celebrate our success. To sign up, see Mrs. Pixler with your name and a word count goal. Hungry? The Pure Mentor Program is having a bake sale today to help pay for fees. Don't miss this chance to grab some early Halloween goodies. Also, the Nampa FFA Scholarship Auction is November 7th at our Ag Shop. 
Dinner and silent auction at 5.30 p.m. Live auctions at 7 p.m. Tickets $10 at the door. Today's SAT word of the day is glorious, a verb that means worthy of praise, magnificent, wonderful. You could use it this way. Every child knows that all that free candy makes Halloween a glorious holiday. Or you could use it this way. Wouldn't it be glorious if Mr. Allen brought us some candy? It sure would be. But what are the odds of that happening? Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. What didn't you say? Thank you, Mr. Allen. No, you I love you dearly. Let's see if Horsley can pull this one off. Can I please have some candy? <laughs> you didn't say trick or treat. Try it with the trick oh, or treat. Oh, trick or treat. Oh. Yeah! Don't be just walking up to people's doors and grabbing candy out of their hands. It's a bad idea. Otherwise, <laughs> they'll think you're crazy. <laughs> That's your wildcat letter. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Monday! <laughs>